How many you got left, Zach Nomeyer? <laughs> what? You're not going to do it with your group? You're going to let your group down? I, I think that was. <laughs> we'll see if he, we'll see if he's going with it. Got another one in, Yaren? Okay. How many got left? One to go. One left, Megan. You can do it. Second half of the workout here, I yelled, "We love hills." I've always believed a positive lie is better than the negative truth because they are not thinking we love hills as they get toward the end of this. Finish this, finish this up. Who's gonna take it through? Who's late? As we get toward the end of the workout, they'll break up into you know, smaller packs. A pack of five might break into a pack of two or three, but the point is keep working together. Find somebody side by side, talk to each other, challenge each other, keep going up. We stay every workout as a distance group. Whenever we're doing something hard, we're out there to, until everybody is done. Looks like uh, as we get toward the end here, the packs are breaking up a little bit, but that happens, but they stick together and that's good. That's the success. This workout is a success. If they can get a hard workout in, they can stick together. They maintain their form all the way through. I thought this was a great workout, maybe, uh, well, they all go good. This is a great group. They work hard. They're not afraid to work hard. They're not afraid to, to push each other, challenge each other. So I thought this was a great workout. The cold weather here, it's not that cold. Uh, distance runners love cooler weather rather than the hot weather. Get a lot more breakdowns when the weather's hot and humid. As they go, we try and keep them moving, waiting for Alana at the end as she gets a couple of the last ones in. Everybody's cheering and encouraging. There's a little bit more walking and standing. Try and keep them moving. They do have a 20 to 25 minute cool down heading back to campus and then good stretching. Uh, they'll get a lot of core in afterwards. We always try to encourage each other. We do a lot of hand slapping, or as it gets into the season, especially cross country season, we do elbow slapping or elbow hitting. So we try and keep the hands away from spreading germs. As you watch them, they'll do that on their own. They'll get in, they'll encourage each other. What a great environment for them to be in where everybody's in encouraging and challenging you to be your best. What do you got left? Three. Three? Okay.